from Tormach and today I'm going to show you how to use the Tormach Procunior tapping head and explain a few differences in some different taps and show some different ways to program up the tapping head. Here's the tapping head itself and I have a, a quarter twenty spiral fluted tap in it. The, the tapping head will come with the two wrenches and the four different collets to hold from a quarter inch down to a, a zero. This is a, a spiral fluted tap. It works great for blind holes. It's going to suck the chips out of the hole. This is a 3 8 um, 16 spiral pointed tap. It, it's too big to use in the Procunior, but I just wanted to show the difference. This tap is not good for blind holes because it drives the chips ahead of the tap. Whereas the spiral fluted tap has sucked the chips out, the spiral pointed tap pushes them ahead of the tap. It's great for through holes, but not good for blind holes. This is a quarter twenty uh, form tap. It doesn't produce any chips. It, it rolls the thread right into the hole. You have to use a little bit bigger tap drill than what you would for a cutting tap. But there's tap drill charts that, that, so you know what size tap drill to use. And this is a, a 080. It's the smallest tap is what I've used. And we'll, we'll uh, tap some hot rolled angle iron with the 080. And these are the collets and they'll locate on the square on the back side of the tap. As you, as you feed them in there, you, you turn them until they lock into this. And the same with the back side of the collet. The back side of the collet locates inside the tapping um, spindle itself. There's a flat in there that matches up the, the flat on the back side of the collet. The auto reversing head, you don't have to reverse the spindle. When you switch feed directions from Z minus to, to retract back to your, your, uh, your rapid plane, it automatically reverses the spindle. And when it reverses the spindle in here, it doubles the spindle, so you have to, or the spindle RPM, so you have to double your feed rate on the way out. And you'll be able to see that in the, um, the program. And you'll notice that the feed rate down matches the pitch of the tap um, times the RPM. And then on the retract, you'll see that the, the feed rate is doubled. Um, this is how you load the Tormach Procunior auto reversing tapping head. This uh, mounting flange has to be set up in the void in the casting on the back side here. Just load it through the collet into that casting and then this this machine's got a power draw bar, so all I have to do is lock it. We're tapping a half inch deep blind hole. The pilot hole is drilled uh, five eighths deep.
is for you as a focus. When you're using the M871 code, you have to give it your pitch in this box. And if you're using the procure in your head, you've got to toggle this on. If you were using a, a different head, um, some of them require a dwell or whatever, but this, the, the procunior doesn't require a dwell. Just give it the pitch, make sure you got the procunior toggled on, and what it's going to do is whatever spindle speed you have um, programmed in your G-code, it'll calculate the feed rate down, and uh, when these, like the, pro, the Tormach procunior auto-reversing head, when you switch directions, when you start feeding up, it doubles the RPM, so you got to um, reverse your feed at twice the twice of what you fed down at. So it calculates and it, it knows it's 20 threads per inch. Um, and I programmed it at 750 RPMs. It'll feed down at about 37 and a half inches a minute, and then reverse at 75 inches a minute. 